What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John for the Game Do It Here. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me or not. We'll find that out. It looks like you can, just fine. But I'm talking way quieter than normal. So let me turn up my mic. I don't. I think this is the first time I've ever had to turn up my mic. But anyway, how are you guys doing? Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Your boy's laying down. There's a reason for that. My Twitter will tell you the reason. But no, basically, long story short, I need to rest. So. I will be laying down today's episode. Um, you know, down, if you really want to know, Twitter and the the um, comments will both have the exact reason. Um, but I'm just trying to take my mind off of that exact reason. Um, but no, I'm here. We're going to have fun. We're going to do everything we can. And we're only going to record one episode. <laughs> because, you know, taking care of myself is an important thing. So... Today, we have, I think we have to go to Vampire? Honestly, it's been a while since I've recorded the series, but I'm excited to record it with you. And hang out with you, have fun, do the do, anything can happen. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Let's do a quick team recap. Not necessarily just for you guys, but for me as well. We got Harold, the level 40 Cradali. Oh, not changed on the layout. Gotta do that on the next episode. Um, with Suction Cups as an ability, with Miracle Seed, increasing that grass type moves with Ancient Power, Life Screen, Giga Drain, and Rock Blast. We got Lily with the Bright Powder, with Fake Out, Rock Slide, Hyper Voice, and Spore. Uh, then we got Kyla the Swellow with Arrow Blast, Drill Pack, Rock Smash, and Other Dance. We got Fam Dude the Vaporeon with Water Spout, Surf, Skull Bash, and Crab Hammer. And then we got Melissa the Camera Up with Dig, Flamethrower, Overheat, and Fire Punch. And we got Beegers, the Alakazam with Dream Eater, Make a Kick, Hypnosis, and Miss Ball. So, I think we got a good team. We're gonna have to fight um, somebody today, and I can't remember her their name. Um, we have to fight um, Aqua, or not Aqua, uh, Magma Dude. So, honestly, it's gonna be just fine, and I'm excited today, and I hope you guys are too. Um, we might have more than just this today, but you really never know until the episode happens, like, what you're doing. And that's kind of the scenario we're in. We don't really know what's going on or what's going to happen in today's episode. Other than, I'm recording, and I'm here, hanging out with you, despite everything else. We got TM26, which, I don't mind. You know, I love at TM26, and TM's a randomized in this game, so it's good to check. Bruh, this music is so good. It's Bo- oh, Boomerang. Hello. Hello, move that's actually useful. That I can teach to Melissa and be like very happy with, I think. Yeah, 50 base power, 90. Uh, yeah, that's better than Dig, in my opinion. I don't like two turn moves, if you guys know me. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, we're trying to get to 600 so that I can be the second Pokemon Sword Nuzlocke. But the only way we can do that is to get 600 subscribers because Jonas bought me a Switch, but I have to have 600 subscribers in order to do that. Um, also, I clicked on the wrong move. Yes, I do use speed up. I'm sorry if that triggers you or annoys you, but oh, <laughs> this is why you're not supposed to use speed up because scenarios like that are bound to happen. Okay, but no. So we have a lot going on today, um, and I think you guys are gonna have a lot of fun. So after I record this, I'll be editing Cage Lock with Aaron. See if I can get that out on time. Uh, I get home at ten, so if I don't get it out on time, I'll get it out. I would get it out later tonight, um, and then I'll get Aaron's episode up. I'm just trying to get everything all in order, so that I don't lose. Oh, oh, that's five thousand dollars. Um, I would like that five thousand dollars. Let's see how I can actually attain that. That's an X accuracy. That's pointless. I do not care about X accuracies. I'd rather the five thousand dollars Stardust. Let's be honest. And that's a soul do, but. We're not going to get a lot of us, so I'm not worried about that. And then we can go up here, and we're going to fight some Team Magma Grunts. This Team Magma Grunt's going to have an Ariados, which, again, I don't really mind. Ariados doesn't really pose too much of a threat, clearly. Uh, Tropius, huh? Tropius? Tropius is a little bit more of a threat? Oh! We're doing a wedlock, by the way. I didn't introduce the series very well. I mean, I figure, like, ten episodes in, nine episodes in, I wouldn't have to <laughs> explain what we're doing. Um... But I can only switch between uh, um, Kyla. Oh, Kyla. Okay. Kyla is linked. Okay. Kyla is linked to Harold. The the layouts being messed up does not help me at all, but we live. 
So, yeah, we can only switch between Kyla and Harold right now because Harold's in the front of the party. Um, level 42 is the ace, to my knowledge. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn down the game in my ear um, and just kind of... Because the game is really loud in my ear, but we're, we're working through it. We're doing everything we need to do to win. We need to, like, you know, we, we learned. That's probably why I didn't have it turned up that high in the first place. I just wish I could, like, amplify the sound so it wasn't in my ear, you know? You know, like if I could amplify the sound on, uh, so it was, I mean, I could create a separate audio track. I guess that's, that's something I could have done. Oh, I've got no Geeky Drains left. Uh, okay. I thought I would have some left, but I guess I didn't. Oh, a Hoot Hoot. Hoot Hoot's easy. I think level 40 is what level we need to get to or something to, um, to be like the ace or whatever. Or the ace of, uh, what's-her-face, uh, Liza and Tate. It's either 42 or 46. I'm not 100% sure, to be 100% honest. But, it's fine. Do you remember me? Yeah, I remember you. I'm gonna air blast you into oblivion. I'm a star. Uh, I can't really air blast that into oblivion. But again, I don't have an, a grass-type move. So, I kind of just have to go with it. And kind of see what I can do. There we go. We tore that. Okay. We're tearing this apart. We're doing what we need to do. We're getting it done. We're getting it done. Not you again. I have impeded... You've impeded your plans repeatedly. It's time. You're too late. The blue orb is resting atop of our pyre. I, Maxi Clement, is finally mine. Ha 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 ha. Finally, I can realize my grand design. Come on, crew. It's Slayport next. Oh, no. It can't happen. Yada, yada, yada. I don't really care. Now, we gotta go to Slayport, which I swear I got fly on Kyla. I don't have a fly on Kyla. You know, I kind of did a re team recap. Oh, that's right. I have to beat uh, our fun magical rival, who I don't think I've defeated yet. I think I went straight into encounters and getting encounters last episode. So, I need to go ahead and fight our rival. I just didn't think that I hadn't fight fought our trusty rival. I figured that I would have at this point, but I guess not. I mean, it does make a lot of sense to... Oh, gosh. Hey, Dragonite. Oh, I caught you on that route. That would, that would be a nice catch. We'll find out. Did I fight my trusty rival or did I not fight my trusty rival? I did fight my trusty rival. Okay, I do have fly. I just never taught anybody it. Makes sense. A fam dude can learn fly. Also makes so much sense. Um, But honestly, Kyla, you're going to like fly. Um, Fly is... Oh, fly is actually not good in this game. Um, Kyla, you're really not going to like fly. Fam dude might like fly though. Fam dude's the only one that can learn it, so I hope Fam dude would like fly. Uh, water spout's a good one. Surf is good. Uh, Skull bash is good, but it's a two turn. And crab hammer is eighty five percent accurate. I'm gonna get rid of that. And now we're gonna fly to slate port because well we kind of have to. I straight up. You know, it's not like I just did this, but I completely forgot. Oh, right here. Okay. Pay $50 to get into the museum. Of course I have to pay $50 to get into this dang museum. Oh, wait. That's not where I'm supposed to go. I thought that was where I had to go, but it's not. That's okay, though. We'll, like I said, we will figure out where we have to be. And maybe. Oh, do we have to go in here? See, but this is Team Magma, so they're going to be different. It says, off to Slayport we go. But why do I remember with Papa that we they didn't go to Slayport at all? Like, I straight up remember them not going to Slayport. They're like, off to Slayport we go, and then their hideout's actually not there. Um, I don't trust Team Magma. I think for good reason. Um. Oh, whoa, 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 that's why. Because last I remember, they were over here in Lava Ridge. And then we went around, up and around. They, they should say over in Lava Ridge Town, but they don't, and it actually is high-key frustrating. 
It's also I keep frustrating that it was trying to record it recorded the mouse on the screen the entire time. That's a red ice. I would have loved to have that as my encounter, but I got like something terrible there. I remember getting something terrible there. Okay. And then uh, like I honestly don't remember what we got there. I just remember it was terrible. And I could be completely wrong in thinking it was terrible and that it was actually not terrible, but honestly, who really cares at this point? It was an encounter that The encounter that didn't really matter. That's all that that's all that I need to worry about. Angel power. No PP left for that move. It's not what the First it should go to the Pokemon Center. Crap! Where where do I go? I always forget. This is the part that always gets me. So like, I'm not surprised that I'm stuck here because literally every time I'm stuck here. But like, really? Every time. I can't have. I can't have like anything. Slave port, you'll find the Captain Stern outside the building. Is that Stern? What? It says you'll find Captain Stern outside the building, but you won't. What the fudge? Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. Go to Slave Port. In Slave Port, you can find Captain Stern outside a building. Oh, of a building, not of the building. That's the distinction I was looking for. I'm sorry for looking that up, but like, I always forget this area. So he's outside of a building. That's kind of dumb, but we live with it. He's he's outside of a building. This is not Captain Stern for sure. Uh, um, but if he's outside of a building, what you would think he's one of these guys but he ain't one of these guys but he's outside a building not the building what the heck and that's the museum that's definitely not captain stern those guys are definitely not captain stern where the heck is captain stern oh my gosh really there he is the one building I never checked in this area. No wonder why I was. I it's always the one building I don't check. <laughs> I swear to goodness, it is literally the one. It's legit the one area that I don't. <laughs> of an effort, 
He's been following me all the way here at Mount Pyre. But now, no one gets all bots. No more, no! Will you follow us? Or will you follow us back to our hideout? Let's go see! Ha! See, what's funny, right? Okay. What I find funny is the difference between Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire and Pokemon Emerald, right? Because Pokemon Emerald makes this area make sense because it has Team Magma in a magma volcano. Whereas in freaking Pokemon freaking this game, Ruby and Sapphire, it straight up is like, oh, it's on screen again. Ah, I need to make this window capture not capture my cursor ever so that I can have it on screen like I always do. Okay, but like in this game, what in where in the world did they get the idea that team? Uh, I think that was an encounter that I totally just blew off on accident. But like, it's like, why in the world would we be fighting magma people here in a freaking water zone? Like, that does not make a lick of sense to me but I mean if you want to go that way I guess but like in no way shape or form does that make sense like Team Magma wouldn't would not be wanting to be in a state of or would not be want to be waterlogged Team Magma that just goes against their entire philosophy they literally want land so in their one place in their hideout where they get land. They created that themselves. But like. I mean I guess you could. I can see that if they're waterlogged. Then. I mean I could. I guess I could. I could see it a little bit. But not to the degree of this. <laughs> uh, Roselia. Drill pack. That's better. Azumarill also will die to a drill pack pretty easily. See Kyla is such a good Pokemon. And you know what. Papa roasted Kyla. Papa said Kyla sucked. And Kyla went, Papa doesn't like me. Well, I'm gonna destroy Papa. Speaking, I'm like, well, neither. <laughs> I wasn't gonna record this series today. Um, considering the circumstances. Oh, why are you? Considering the circumstances of what happened today. But le like, neither of my um, partners in crime wa uh, wanted to record with me today. With the circumstances at hand. So I went, well, I love the people and I want to hang out and record and it's going to be good for me. So therefore, I'm going to record. <laughs> Even if it's just one episode, that's something. I'm getting out content. Like, I don't know. I'm not dissing on them at all. It just was kind of funny. I was like, oh, I was like, we should totally record. Yada, yada, yada. Da, 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 da. But, but I love them and I appreciate them, like, thinking of my well being first rather than recording um it's actually a really good thing and it's a nice thing to kind of have those people that love you for who you are and not just because oh you're a recording partner so therefore i have to love you and like i don't care what happens to you like because i'm not, I'm, sure, I'm sure people are like that but i can tell you none of my recording partners are like I know that they all care for me and everything else so like i appreciate them a lot so it just is kind of a, a funny that I just figured I would mess around with <laughs> because like I said I love them a lot so and I care for them and if anything were to happen to them I would have done the same thing that they did for me uh, so like that's why I said I'm not mad at all it's just a funny rather um but that's why I'm laying down is because of that so oh static encounters oh it's a Pelipper Guess what? I actually have a fan that wanted me named after a Pelipper. And I don't have the Pokemon. <gasps> and back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Uh, <laughs> that's about right. We couldn't have a we couldn't have an episode without that scenario. Oh, yeah! Let's go! Living on one! Okay. Pelipper? Really, Pelipper? 
Well, I got no Pokeballs, so Pelipper's dying. On Fort, but... Sorry, Zacharias. I know you wanted to be named after a Pelipper. I would have loved to name you after a Pelipper, but... This game just went and said, nope, you're not getting the Pelipper. And I was like, okay. I had to submit to that. Okay, don't care about the deep sea scale. But I would have totally taken the Pelipper, but I need to go and get some actually freaking... Oh, that was bad. Okay. But I need to actually get some Pokeballs and stuff. At least. But I gotta name the next Pokemon Zacharias now because I feel really bad that, that I like lost a static of a mon that I already that I knew somebody wanted. I knew somebody wanted that. I'll, hey, at least I remember that much. Like, I gotta give myself props for actually remembering that, hey, Zacharias would want this. So, like, like give myself props to remembering that, but that's unfortunate because Zacharias literally commented, hey, if you find a Pelipper or a Shuckle, can you name it after me? And I went, sure. So, that's literally, he wanted a, that's the two months he wanted, a Pelipper or a Shuckle. I pay attention to the comment section, so leave a comment if you guys liked what you've seen today um, or what you like heard today or anything else because I would love to Because I would love to hear your feedback on today's episode. Um, but yeah, I'm laying down. And i that's probably like the biggest comment. But like I said, you'll know in the thread why I'm laying down. But this guy gives, this person gives me potions. And this girl's probably poke balls. Yeah, oh, I can buy Ultra Balls now. I'm doing it. 13 Ultra Balls. Because we're getting some encounters today, so I don't want to, like, lose out on that. And five Pokeballs. Because I would rather buy the Pokeballs, to be honest. But, honestly, like, the Pokeballs are, like, almost the most worth it. Like, are they the most worth a, po a ball? Uh, well, see, okay. So, realistically, they kind of are, but they're also not. Like, Pokeballs are really worth it. But, in a Nuzlocke, I think I would rather secure my fate. Route 124. Our encounter is a Metatite. Metatite is just fine. I should be able to apparently not catch it at all as well. And... Holy crap, all of Batman. It should not be this difficult. That did way more damage than it needed to. Got it. Okay, Metatite. We're going to name this thing Izzy. Izzy the Metatite. And we're kind of just skipping our way through because, well, we're going to try and get to the city that we need to get to, but without running into too many fights because I don't want to run into that many fights. I would prefer to run into little amounts of fights. Moss Deep City. Our encounter is an Amistar. That's kind of funny. Um, although, I am going to run away from this. I actually am just going to kill it because Air Blast will kill it. Because there's absolutely no way I would have been able to kill. So, yeah. This episode's gone on for about 24 minutes. In the next episode, we are going to be fighting the gym leader. Um, I guess. Mm, actually, <clears throat> I say in the next episode. Let's do it this episode. Frick it. Why not? No reason not to. We'll find out if... Oh, yeah. Level 43? We're fine. We're okay. This is a completely different puzzle than... Uh... What the... Okay, well, I'm going to stop recording. Okay, we're back, because I'm not giving you that sensitive information. Um, 
<laughs> um, okay. And what am I doing? I'm going into Herald because <laughs> that was just the most. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that in the video. Obviously, it's not my the number because I stopped recording for that purpose. Oh, that hurt. Okay, that did some damage. Oh! Harold just got crit! Maybe I should not be doing this. Harold! You're not supposed to get crit, my dude! You're not supposed to die. Harold ain't allowed to die. Now freaking Kyle is gonna die. As we already know how this works. Oh! I have the band! Uh, that was a dip the dip on my part. That was a... That was an oops! And now, Kyla's gonna die. Well, actually... Kyla may not die. I think I have all... I didn't have to waste all of my feather dances. But Kyla won't die because I have... Healing items, because I bought some. Except for I'm wasting healing items now because I have a stupid. But I'd rather waste healing items due to my stupidity. Oh, that was super effective somehow. And now I'm confused. Ah! How in the world do you have to... Oh my god. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Kyla is dead now because I was stupid. And that was 100% my fault. Like, I can't say anything other than that. That was like 100 thousand percent my fault that Kyla just died right there but Papa's gonna be happy um we're gonna go back we're gonna go to fam dude and fam dude's gonna carry us for another straight freaking thing a Steelix yeah fam dude's just gonna carry us because that's kind of what fam dude just casually does on the daily fam dude literally every single episode is gonna carry us through the battles like this is just what fam dude's meant to do I guess <laughs> it's just carry us throughout the entirety of the episodes. Oh, wait. Hold on. Am I supposed to be hitting the buttons? I feel like I may or am supposed to potentially hit the buttons. That sounds like something that would would not surprise me that I'm supposed to do. Maybe I have to go this way. And then up and over and then down and then Nope. Okay, hold on. Okay. And then we... Hit that switch. Aha! I got it. I got what we're supposed to do. Four. Go into fam. Water spout because it's more effective. And then water spout the muck. And then the flygon is the last one. Which, of course, with the flygon, we'll go back into Lily. Spore. Hyper voice, hyper voice, hyper voice. We got a plan. We enacted the plan. Ow. You're going to make us go all the way the frick around again. I appreciate that very much. There we go. We made it. Okay. We're going to fight Lies and Tate. Are you ready? Are you ready, fam? Are you ready, fam? You're going to carry us again. You're going to carry us again, fam. <laughs> Were you surprised? <laughs> Were you surprised? That there are two gym leaders? <laughs> We're twins. We're twins. We don't like to talk because... We can determine what each other are saying and thinking. It's all in our minds. The combination of ours. Can you beat it? Oh, hell yeah. Damn dude is way... Oh, you're level 48. Never mind. Maybe not. Uh, I'm gonna... I did not think you guys were gonna be level 48. I mean, trust me. Uh, and the ferret is asleep. Wait. Hyper voice is both too? Yeah, let's go. Using moves that hit both opponents. Freaking amazing. I love the fact that literally our entire move pool hits both opponents. That's actually really nice. As we just we just won because there's apps. Oh, there's no PP left. Okay. Another move. 
Dude, that was the best pair for a double battle match. Literally, both Pokemon. That was way too easy. Because both Pokemon had moves that could attack both Mons. So it actually went way smoother than intended. Which is good, I guess. And so we lost a couple Mons in the gym. But I'd rather lose Mons in the gym to the, than to the gym leader, to be fair. Um, but... That was, I think, a perfect length for the episode. Uh, thank you guys, everybody, so much for being a part of this series. I really hope you guys enjoy. Um, Kyla, you dead. And Harold, you dead. Kyla, you silly girl. You went in the wrong box. Freaking Kyla. Only Kyla would go in the wrong box. That's definitely something that only Kyla would do. Let's be, let's be honest. Only something that Kylo would do. Um, place. And then, let's see what we got. We got... Who? Izzy's got... Oh, wait. That's a normal thing for Izzy. Um, and... <sighs> Pure power. That's actually really good for Izzy. Um, and I will go ahead and look at the sticky notes. Figure out what... Is he is as far as sexuality wise relax is a bot Ooh, is he thank you you are awesome we're adding Izzy because Izzy's a good mon and we like Izzy um so we only have a we have a dugong we got Haley the dugong water ice type I don't really necessarily find me have a reason for it uh or to use Haley only because, well, Haley is, in fact, a water ice type, and I would like some better coverage. Um, we just put a psychic fighting type in the box on our team. Um, and it's, um, I need a male out of here. So, Zakari, oh, there we go. We did name something after Zakarius, and it was Gardevoir, and he was very happy about that. That's right. Um, uh, but I don't want two psychic types paired. Owen, no. Would Cacturn be a good idea? That becomes the question. Is Cacturn a good idea? Honestly, why not? That's a dark type. That's the team now. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and try and get us to 600 so we can have a uh, Pokemon freaking a good Nuzlocke challenge um, coming your way in next week hopefully i want to see if i can hit 600 by next week but i don't think it'll happen but if you guys make it happen that'd be great um anyway love you all peace